Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a review and wear test on the new Maybelline Superstay Active Wear Concealer. I was about to say foundation because I'm so used to doing foundation reviews, but I'm really intrigued and super excited about this. This is kind of like the concealer version of the 30 Wear Stay Active Foundation. It's really interesting because I feel like Maybelline has been coming out with a lot of new new at the end of the year. So let's just go ahead and put this right to the test. I did purchase this on Amazon. I will say you can also find it at Ulta. So this is a lightweight full coverage formula. It's crease transfer resistant and it's up to 30 hour wear. It has a flex comfort curve applicator, which I did see. It's also available in 16 shades. So that's pretty much what we have here. And this is what the applicator looks like, just so you guys can see. It's really, really skinny, but it's supposed to be really nice and flexible to kind of really curve with your eyes. So we shall see about that. I did pick this up in the shade 22 because I do like a nice brightening concealer. For our base, I used the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. This has been my go-to. I'm going to be putting this to the test. On one side, I'm gonna be using my concealer brush and on the other side, I'm gonna be using my makeup sponge. Very, very lightweight. You guys can see, you guys can almost see through the concealer because it's super lightweight. So let's go ahead and see how this blends. And I'm just using a Real Techniques 210 concealer brush to apply this all throughout the eye. I feel like this is gonna be one of those concealers that work better with a sponge if you really, really wanna blend it all out. So definitely covered the imperfections right underneath and gave me a really nice smooth finish. I like the fact that it's super lightweight because lately I've been having dry under eyes. So I feel like for somebody that wants something super nice, smooth and light in consistency, this will be really nice for you because it will make sure that it's not like thick at all. And I'm just gonna be setting this with my powder. I'm using my pressed powder by NYX Cosmetics and just taking a brush and patting that directly onto where I have these little fine lines that crease no matter what I do. You guys can definitely see the difference between having the concealer on and not having the concealer on. I definitely do think this is a great brightening shade if you are around my complexion to really give you that brightness that you want. Do you guys see how like sheer that is? It's not like very pigmented. Like you have to build it up if you want that pigmentation. See how it does with the sponge? My sponge is damp and I don't know if it's gonna sheer out the product or still let it look nice and full. I don't know why it's, do you guys see that? It like stuck to this part of my eye. I try to blend that out. I feel like this is a consistency that dries down super fast so you have to work fast with it or else it's gonna dry down on you. I'm gonna take a little bit more just to kind of see how this formula feels in other places of the face. So you guys can see how sheer that is. Do I think it's full, full coverage? No, I think it's like medium, like buildable, like medium to full. Also the smell, I don't like the smell. It has like a, like an, almost an alcohol scent. I don't know. So what I'm noticing now is down here, I don't really have that much texture. So it blends out pretty easily, but I feel like in the areas where you do have texture, it gives you a harder time blending. Cause right here I do have some texture and that's where I was having a hard time blending. The nose, I also have texture. So I'm having a hard time really like blending it out seamlessly. It's blending, but not like very seamlessly. And I feel like the one thing I do appreciate about it is the fact that it's very lightweight because I feel like it's able to work well if you do have to go in and set your under eye because you crease like I do, then I think it'll do well with powder cause you can't really tell just because it's such a lightweight consistency. So the next layer you're applying on top isn't gonna sit too heavy or separate immediately. So that's definitely a plus of it. But I think that overall, the concealer, if you compare it to other drugstore concealers that have come out that we all love, I feel like it's a little bit more on that like 
medium buildable consistency that I just feel like for some people I can see it not going well because I know how much people love their concealer, especially if you want to cover darkness and you want to cover a lot. I feel like you're really going to build it up to cover. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup and then I'm going to come back and give you guys my first initial thoughts on how this worked with the rest of my products if things changed and then we can go ahead and start our day. I'm intrigued. I didn't have the smoothest start with it, but it's not bad. It doesn't look bad. I'm not gonna write it off just yet because I wanna see how it does for the whole day, but I'm gonna finish off this face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am back. I finished my entire face of makeup and I am ready to start my day. So let's talk about the concealer. So this is what it's looking like. And to be quite honest, it's actually so funny because I started off by saying that I think this side applied better, everything was going great. And then now that it's set, I do feel like this side looks a little bit better. I don't know why, but this side, I feel like the product is separating a little bit, especially right in this area right here. But this side looks completely fine. Like it looks nice and smooth. Um, once again, like I mentioned before, I do have dry under eyes lately. I don't know what's been going on but besides that i think they look pretty good as for the color i do like this color on me i feel like i like a brightening concealer shade um, for me that's always been key i feel like a good brightening shade just makes a difference on my under eyes and it adds a lot of distribution and also dimension to my face because i like to do kind of like different colors so that it all kind of cohesively goes together. So right now it is 9.45 a.m. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the day because I really want to see what it's about and whether it's worth your $9.99, pretty much $10 or not, because you guys know drugstore have been coming out with amazing quality concealers. So if something doesn't work, you can always go to the next $10 product that will work. Um, but I don't think it's too bad and I definitely want to give it a fair chance. So I'm going to have a positive outlook and see how the rest of the day goes. You guys can catch me next with my in natural lighting clip, how it looks up close and personal with the natural light hitting it. So continue watching because you don't want to miss that. So this is the side where we went in with the brush. You guys can see that separation right there. Super up close. This is the side where we went with the sponge. It looks so much smoother and just like really nice and perfected. So definitely think the sponge side is better now that everything's said and done and also set because this side is not looking the best hey guys so i am back right now at 6 p.m i wanted to come back and give you guys my final thoughts on the maybelline concealer so this is what we're looking like i feel like by the end of the day it shears out a lot i just feel like for me it really didn't do much um and I feel like by the end of the day, it's like literally like not even there. Um, I do feel like this side where we applied it with a sponge, it applied much better than the side where we applied it with a brush. That's like a definite thing that I noticed right away. Um, I just feel like a lot of the product went missing and I feel like, I feel that somebody that wants a very natural conceal, then you will like this. But if you want something that's more full coverage and really cover it a lot, this one isn't going to be the one for you. I just feel like there's other concealers that I really love that have been working great. You guys know I always rave about the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. I love this stuff. It's amazing, great coverage, very lightweight. I also really like the NYX Bear With Me Concealer. This is another really good one. Um, and I recently reviewed the Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Concealer. This one's another amazing one. So. These are the ones I would recommend. I wouldn't say this one, that's just my opinion. Um, there is one more concealer that recently came out that I wanna check out, it's the Revlon 5-in-1, I think. Hopefully I can get my hands on that ASAP. I'm gonna order it from Ulta, cause a lot of the products that come out just online, you can get them in store. But yeah, those are my thoughts. So I hope that this video was super helpful for you guys in case you guys were wondering about this new Maybelline concealer. If you guys have tried it, let me know your thoughts down below. What were your experience with it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let's go ahead and start a conversation. So I think that's all I have for you guys. I hope that you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye guys.